Welcome to the behind the scenes for our shot for shot recreation of the One Direction trailer using only sock puppets. Sock puppets! We're gonna take a look at the process, which is mostly just a bunch of dudes with socks on their hands. See what I mean? We're just sitting in my living room. It's pretty silly. But it looks cool on camera, so let's take a look at how it was done. So when you're doing an all sock puppet video, the first step is lots of socks and googly eyes and yarn and pipe cleaners. These are very handsome guys we're dealing with here, so we gotta make sure the hair is perfect. It really was about kind of make, making caricatures. Like, uh, we got Lewis, he's got kind of wide set eyes, maybe. And then he's got this big wisp of hair. That's, to me, his defining feature. And then you've got Zane. He has a very important profile. The front goes down like bangs, and then you got a layer that comes up, and it keeps layering, and it's all really cool and spiky. Liam mostly has short hair, so I just did little dots with marker. So it's time to frost some tips here. It's, uh, who is it? Neal. Neal. I think it's Neal, but we like to say Neal. He also has kind of a, a very particular mouth, so when we're doing the puppet, we kind of like, rah, 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 you know, just to like get the look right. Now, Harry is the one that's the most hairy. Obviously. This is my favorite one. It's all about this hair that just piles on like a crazy mop. These are the main five that are pretty permanent. Harry Styles. That's his name. Harry Styles. Apparently, John is an expert on all five of these handsome One Direction guys. Tell me, what was the difference between Louis's hair and Harry's hair? Well, there's intricate subtleties to their hair in One Direction. You will notice that Louis's hair has one primary flip that goes out, but Harry's is crazy. He's the wild boy. He was the go-to for that. He knew everything about these guys. Maybe a little too much. There's lots of cutaways to fans, moms. So we also just made some generic ones with little wigs. Why do you have to talk so close to me? Oh, bloody <laughs> Christine, my wig! <laughs> Somehow bringing the eyes forward and making it bigger made them look like these youthful, ecstatic fans. And mostly the eyes with the eyelashes we used for the parents. She's the only one with eyelashes so far. I don't mean to be a diva. But I've been in hair and makeup for hours. There's one part of the trailer that shows a bunch of baby photos all at once. So we took individual baby portraits using baby socks. They kind of look like little tadpoles. How cute. Hi. For the costumes, we just made a lot of different colorful options based on what we saw in the trailer. It's all just strips of miscellaneous shirts and stuff that we found. Strips that could be used as t-shirts or pants. Even made some, like, hoodies. Stick it on, layer it, get yourself some nice little outfits. Sometimes they have arms. A lot of times they don't. It's just going straight sock puppet. Depending on the shot, we really wanted like him to snap his fingers, which is like one of my favorite shots. It's so funny. I can do a lot of other things other than snap. Tee! So we made little arms with little hands that sometimes we attach to the sock puppet. Howdy, folks! Sometimes we attach them to like wires so that we could kind of actually puppeteer them. And sometimes we just used our real hands. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. <laughs> Hello, my high school girl. Some of these shots were fairly simple. It was just a matter of dressing up the character, maybe going in the front yard and knocking out the shot. But some of them are fairly elaborate. There's a shot where they're all drinking at the same time, and it'd be too hard to like individually puppeteer those. So I made little uh, braces to actually hold the arms up, little armatures, basically. And then slipping it on the fabric, and then we'll bend it, and then we're gonna attach that to the puppets so they can all move together. That shot took an hour to set up, and it lasts for like maybe a second or a second and a half. One, two, three, sake! Well, we've got Vince here today designing some of our cool little props and stuff, and then we just like tape it right there. <laughs> Zane, can you hear me? Hello? While we were shooting, he was making props. We got flags, some of the fans wave. We got a handful of microphones. Headphone shows up in one shot. We got a backstage pass, guitar, used that a few times. This is really funny, like Asian newspaper. Vince made these really rad teacups that we end up balancing on the top of the puppet. Some of the fans are holding One Direction posters. So we actually did a photo shoot. One, two, three, cheese! 
it's one of the best things. It's kind of like such a world within the world. You've got an actual poster. One shot goes by really fast, but I really liked it. We made a little like luggage thing. We actually folded up some little clothes and like put the clothes around it. So it like, you know, it goes by in one second, but we're trying to get all the details just right. Can someone send a PA out for some Starbucks for me? Most of the time we actually wear the socks on our hands, as you would for a sock puppet, but sometimes if we needed more puppets than we had hands available, we would just stick them on these paint cans. But for the most part, it was us all sweaty with our hands, crouching beneath things, climbing over each other. Our arms are like interlocked and we're like doing these weird poses. Hey guys. <laughs> Comfortable? Yeah, totally natural. <laughs> when I say we, I, I mostly mean I was directing it and it was uh, John and Vince and Sean and everybody climbing on top of each other. <laughs> and as I'm like, no, a little higher, a little higher. It's like armpit in your face. There's a lot of shots that use a big arena in the background. First we had the empty version, just kind of blue and I spray painted it like in a pattern that might look like it resembles seats a little bit. In later shots we want it to be full of fans. I found this bag of little beads and I thought, you know, in the distance that might look like a sea of people because it's just like colors and it's a big mush of colors. So we sprayed the arena down with spray adhesive and then just tried to stick all these beads to it and it worked actually pretty good. We even use these beads in a couple other shots. It's a sea of fans along a busy street, can you tell? So the colorful beads, pretty good trick for big colorful crowd shots. And then for some of those full arena shots, we had the full arena in the background, then the puppets, and then there's a foreground element to kind of cover our arms. It's supposed to be like a catwalk that they're standing on, but we just put like a foreground element with more fans. There's a lot of miscellaneous shots too. Sometimes we set up buildings to do a little city shots. This stadium also makes a lovely hat. There's this one shot where they do like a mirror effect halfway through the screen, so we're using an actual mirror. There's a pretty elaborate map thing that happens. This trailer has a lot of music. Again, it's just me doing my best to sing all these songs and layer it. Let's go crazy, crazy, crazy till we see the sun. I know we only I think I'm gonna start like an act where I, I play clubs and start singing a cappella One Direction song. We actually had a lot of fun shooting this one. I mean, once you put the eyes on and the hair, they come to life. I recommend just making sock puppets just to play with. They're so much fun. <laughs> and that's how we did it. Be sure and subscribe because we've got new episodes every single Tuesday. And we're always looking for requests, so let us know in the comments what movies we should do next. Thanks for watching. Do we have a montage? Oh, sure thing, Neil. Cue the montage. Where's this One Direction Guts are going at tonight? <laughs> you ready to go home? Yeah. See you guys. <laughs> Let's go crazy, crazy, crazy.